What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Bungie revealed in today's live stream that Lord Shax will be introducing players to a new tribute hall when Into the Light launches, similar to what we've seen out of the 30th anniversary. And the crown jewel of the nostalgic rewards that players will be able to earn when April 9th gets here is the super black shader that first appeared in the Taken King back in Destiny 1. And even though the shader won't be available for a few more weeks, we're going to be covering how you can easily obtain the shader for yourself. When Into the Light begins, players will gain access to a new social space called the Hall of Champions, and it's ran by Lord Shax. At the back of this area, you'll discover a locked up Taken Blob that can only be unlocked by the use of a vendor item that you can only obtain through Lord Shax and our site. Once you've obtained these keys and opened the containment cell, you'll retrieve the Super Black Shader. One of these keys will be unlocked through Lord Shax as a rank 17 reward. Ranking up with Lord Shax here at the Hall of Champions will work just like any other vendor. You'll have to complete matches of on-site while completing the various bounties offered by Lord Shax. So utilizing all three characters each week will be a great way to cut down the time that it'll take to reach rank 17. And since there are armor rewards available for each class, it's another good reason to use all three of your characters. Our site 99 will be the source of your second key. And to unlock this key, you'll have to complete the different bounties and quests that our site offers. Our site will offer different bounties and quests each week. These are pretty easy bounties and quests from what we can tell, just requiring you to defeat enemies with scout rifles, sniper rifles, swords, and grenade launchers, with bonus progress getting provided while in Onslaught. These quests will most likely be available on all three characters, rewarding you with 200 points of Lord Shax's reputation for each one so these will definitely need to be a priority towards obtaining the Super Black Shader quickly. There will be different modes of Onslaught, including a Legendary version, which will most likely provide a lot more rep points per completion, but depending on how difficult the lower level versions of this activity will be, and how long it ultimately takes, it might end up becoming more beneficial to quickly farm lower level Onslaughts, than it would be to farm the Wave 50 Legendary ones. The Hall of Champions does not appear to be something that will be going away when Final Shape releases. So if you're not able to obtain the Super Black Shader by the end of Lightfall, you should still be able to obtain it after the fact. And since all of the content that's included with Into the Light is completely free to all players, there's really no reason to not get on Destiny when April 9th hits and check out all of these incredible nostalgic items. And with that said, I wish you all the best of luck throughout your journey into the light and throughout the rest of Season of the Wish. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and both really do help support the channel. If you're a new Light Guardian, or a returning one, just looking for a new home, then be sure to check out the Discord link in the description below, and join one of the greatest communities in all of Destiny. And until next time Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.